Hey everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got a sweet arch top for you. This is a 1951 arch top model 1125. Now we know it's a model 1125 because we looked inside the sound hole and sure enough it says 1125. So hard to miss that one. Now uh, these guitars uh, were made really to compete with the Gibsons back in the day. I mean, a 1951 Gibson probably sold for about $300. These probably sold for about $100. So there was a big difference in cost for these, uh, but they were very, very high quality. And I know they never expected that these guitars would last for us playing them in the uh, 2019. So uh, uh, they certainly built them to last. Now. Uh, these guitars uh, uh, has an arch back as well, and as you can see, it had some moisture issues that got to it, uh, and it was professionally repaired. Uh, whoever did it did an outstanding job. Our guys looked at it and goes, there's really nothing else we can do for it. Uh, but it was, uh, uh, you can see in here, it looked like it got a little damp and probably cracked. So they, uh, they patched it together and uh, put some cleats in it, and uh, so it's very stable. Uh, and then it's just, just a great old guitar. It's got these uh, cool old uh, uh, Gibson single line, I'm sorry, uh, Cluson single line uh, tuners. Uh, one half of them have been replaced. You can see the, the knobs are a little bit different than the ones on the other side. Um, but it also has the national dating plate on it, so we're able to date it to 1951. So it's really great when they still have those little uh, uh, metal plates on there. And then they've got this little piece in here which I've just always considered that to be like a neck stabilizer uh, and uh, you know they're, they're set in there there's a big block that holds them but these are like a stabilizer and those a lot of times are missing so we've got that on there then from the front uh, it's got the original pick guard which I'm really happy to see the original knobs uh, original single uh, uh, line uh, pickup uh, looks like the original Boy, that is really an old bridge and original tailpiece. So, I mean, it's all original. I mean, even the, uh, uh, we looked at it underneath and the, even the jack, I mean, this jack uh, bracket looks old and it could be that the original input jack has been replaced. If it wasn't, it should have been because uh, those are going to wear out. Uh, so, uh, if it's got a replacement jack, good. Uh, just got some nicks and scrapes along. Uh, it's, it's been around and uh, you can certainly tell that, but the neck is good and straight. I mean, it just, it just sights very, very well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just an awesome, awesome, great old archtop guitar that is just a blast to play. Uh, and it plays great. I mean, I gotta say the action on it is just wonderful. <laughs> If that's going to come through or not, but it's very woody sounding.
car. I really like the, uh, uh, the metal national logo on the top of the headstock. That is just really, really neat. It's got even the, gosh, it looks like even the original nut on this. The frets are in wonderful shape. I will tell you that there's some finger divots in it in the first, second, third. Cowboy chords. <laughs> this is where this guitar had been played. Uh, finger divots right up in here. It does not affect play, of course, but it certainly shows that this guitar was much loved and much played, but well cared for. So it's just, gosh, what an awesome guitar. Now, the other exciting thing that I have to tell you is I've got an original case for it. Check this beauty out. This is a really cool case. When I got it, I went, oh my goodness, check that out. I would consider this to be like a buckskin case. It's sort of a reddish brown leather look, and then it's got this oxblood uh, binding on it. The uh, latches and hinges are all on it. Um, gosh, this is in just beautiful, beautiful shape. Look at this handle. Uh, the handle uh, is plastic, and it's also the same color as the oxblood binding. There, I mean, gosh, there's only one corner up here by the hinge that's been broken on the on the uh, lid. I mean, usually those are all busted up. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this case. Yes, this is one outstanding guitar case. Uh, this gold plush is just absolutely beautiful in this guitar case. I mean, my goodness. It's got the accessory box in it, the lid. Oh, man, what a nice case. I forgot about that. Um, this case is even nicer than that 1951 National Model 1125 Archtop. Buy it for the case, but you're going to love that guitar. So check it in all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. We only try to have only the best and the coolest and the most unusual guitars for you out there. I hear that from my customers all the time. Where do you find your unusual guitars, Lawman? Thank you, all my finders. You guys find great guitars for me. I appreciate you all. And uh, let's keep finding cool guitars for my customers. Appreciate you. Thank you.